Sometimes I read the comments on social media of people that hear us preaching. And many people say, oh my God, I grew up on that type of preaching. Many people say, where are you, where you been all my life? Many people say, oh, I wish you was around when I was young coming up. Right. Many people say, I thought that preaching didn't even exist. My man from another country wrote, I didn't know America even had that kind of preaching. <laughs> oh, Lord. Think of it. Yeah. What makes them say this? Because America is known for being religious, a religious scam. That's right. Play church. That's right. Play with God. Play with God. As if there's no repercussions for your play. That's right. The word of God says what? And I saw the souls of them that were, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Jesus. For the witness of Jesus. And for the and word of God. For the word of God. Now, hmm. the word of God, there's nothing in the earth more powerful. That's right. More right. More true. More true. Than the word of God. What you mean the word of God? The sayings of the almighty. That's right. This is why man have labored for years to contaminate whatever God says. That's right. He tried to make books to prove that there's scriptural contradictions. There's no contradiction. Only the man don't understand the wisdom and knowledge of the most high. That's right. But man will labor around the clock. Oh, yes, he will. Preachers will refer to great historians and black activists. Yeah. And will honor what they say. That's right. Above honoring what God says. The law of the Lord is perfect. Do you hear? In Psalms 19 and at verse 7. The law of the Lord, of the Lord is perfect. Martin Luther King was good, but he ain't good enough. Not good enough. Malcolm X was good, but he ain't good enough. That's right. Noble Drew Ali was good, but he ain't good enough. That's right. James Baldwin, good debater, intelligent mind, yeah. not better than the mind of God. Oh, no. So you can dig these men up in history. Oh, yes. Who's recognized in the earth for their greatness yes. and their brilliance. But who in the world is more brilliant than the God of heaven? That's right. The Bible says, who by searching can find out, can God. Find out God. Can find out God. What man can hang the earth on nothing? On nothing. Nobody. Nobody. So the intelligence of God is not respected and has been dwindled down to nothing until man is so dumb and ignorant, he get a little bit education. A little bit education. A little bit. Get an LLD, a PhD, a master's, and a bachelor's. And then you think he's so smart. Oh man, I ain't no God. That's right. I, I, this is one of the most ignorant sayings. I, my own man. I'm own man. I'm my own man. I'm my own woman. You are? You are. Well, America prove to you you're not your own because when you go to jail, if you're your own, then why don't you get out on your own? Amen. When you're hooked up to a respirator, you can't detach yourself. When are you going to realize your entire being is in the hands of your creator? That's right. And you have no power over yourself but the Lord of creation. That's right. And when these religious leaders stop trying to make themselves God, yeah. equal to the God of the universe, you know, religions quote the scripture in the Old Testament that says, ye are gods. Oh, God. oh man, people are running wild with that. The Hebrew Israelites are running around with it. The nation of Islam are running wild with it. They quote that scripture. He are God. And they put too much emphasis. Oh, I'm a God. <laughs> That's right. I'm a God. Here's a God over there, a drunken God. A drunken Here's wind. a high weed smoking God. Here's a woman beating God, a cussing God, a lying God. You have nothing but the title God, which right. shows you are made in the image of God. That's it. Now, the image of God is not just the shape of the creator, but God wants you to have his character. character that's it. But the only thing you got is God image, but you don't have God character. You are God equal to the God of this world, Satan. Satan. 
Are you listening? In Psalms 82 and at verse 6. What is it? I have said ye are God. I have said ye are God. Ye are God. For what good is it, Williams? And all of you are children. All of you are children. Of the most high. Of the most high. But ye shall die. But when it's time for death. Ye shall die. You like shall die. Man. Like men. And fall like one of the princes. you're going to fall like one of the princes. That's right. So you can walk around. And, I'm, 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 I'm God. Amen. <laughs> I'm God. Oh, yeah. Oh, You're just God in title. That's it. He is God in power. That's right. He can't die. No. But when it comes to us, he says, I kill. That's right. And I make alive. I wound and I heal. He declared, I, the Lord, I am the Lord that do all these things. All these things. All right, go back to the revelation. Everybody all right? Listen at this. Back in Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 4. What is it? And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Yeah. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. All right. And for the word of God. Yes. And which had not worshipped the beast. All it. They did not worship the beast. Neither his image. Neither his image. Neither had received his mark upon their forehead. Neither had they received his mark on their forehead. Or in their hand. Or in their hand. That's talking about the mark of the beast. That's right. 666. Six, six. That's it. It'll be given in the forehead. Or in the hand. Mm -hmm. Not like it was when I debated that fella, amen, who, uh, Mr. Israel, yeah. who said the beast, the, the mark of the beast was COVID. The Bible didn't say the mark of the beast come every year. <laughs> no. no. COVID comes every year like a cold. That's right. And uh, there is no doctor out there that can uh, have a remedy for the mark of the beast. That's right. But there is no remedy for the mark of the beast. No. But there is a remedy for COVID. That's right. All right. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Yeah. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. Real quick. Neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yes. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Ah, uh, they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Now, a term that describes a thousand years, which also is called millennium. Millennium. This is where you get the phrase millennium reign. See, while Satan is in bondage and peace on earth, the millennium reign starts when the Lord comes and present unto himself his glorious church. The church will be with God. Satan will be bound. There will be peace on earth. The only ones left on earth while the church is with the Lord it's two classes of people, That's right. wicked and righteous. and righteous. The holy is already gone. Right. Blessed and holy, and holy is he and has part, that in, the has part in the first resurrection on such, on the, such second death. the second death has no power. Has no power. So when God come, the Lord come, Jesus come, Christ come, oh, Jehovah yeah. come, I am that I am, would he come? That's right. With a shout, that don't mean he gonna come jumping. Shout is his voice. voice. His voice is described shout. shout. His voice is described as the voice of an archangel. For the Lord his himself. voice is described as a trump right. of God. Guess to get some Bible sign. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and we're at verse 16. Oh, this is good. For the Lord himself. Hold on it. The Lord himself. Hold it. Let's get the Lord's name. Acts 9.5. And he said, who art thou, and Lord? And you better give me Psalms chapter 100 and verse right. 3. Amen. I preach that Jesus Christ is God. It. Yes, I do. Yes, do. For the Bible said the Lord himself the Lord shall himself. descend from heaven with a shout. Let's get the Lord's name in Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said. And the Lord said. I am Jesus. Let's get the Lord who he admit that he is in Psalms, Psalms 100 and 100. verse 3. Know ye the Lord. Know ye the Lord. That he is God. That he is God. Give me figures chapter Four and verse five. One Let's Lord. see how many lords it is. One Lord. One Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One Lord. One. One Lord. Just one. Glory to God. Just one. That one Lord say he's Jesus. Hallelujah. That one Lord says my name is Jesus. Hallelujah. That one Lord said he's God, and then he says the Lord. Himself. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. You may ask. All right. If the Lord is Jesus and the Lord is coming back, who's going to be on the throne? God is. Why well, thought God is coming back? That's true. And he's going to be on the throne? Yes. God say, I'm higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. I'm broader than the earth. That's right. I'm deeper than hell. 
God is everywhere. everywhere. God Almighty is everywhere. everywhere. He's in Africa. Why, he's here in America. He's in Canada. Why, he's somewhere else in the world. That's right. He's in us while he's in heaven. It is as high as heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The head. Job chapter 11 and at verse 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What did he say, son? It is as high as heaven. It is as high. Glory to God as heaven. What canst thou do? What can you do? Deeper than hell. Deeper than hell. What canst thou know? What can you know? The measure thereof is longer the than the earth. The measure thereof is longer than the earth. And broader than the sea. Broader than the sea. If he cut off, oh, you go with Hallelujah. God. God says, if he cut if off, if he cut you off, and shut up, and shut you up, or gather together, or gather together, then who can hinder him? Who can stop him? That's right. Who can right. stop him? That's right. Who can tell God what to do and what not to do? That's right. God answers to no man. Amen. But all men must answer to God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? For the Lord himself. The Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord himself. That's plain. That, that's plain. That's plain. Oh, yes. The Lord himself. Shall descend from heaven with shall a shout. Shall descend from heaven with a shout with a shout with the voice of the archangel this is what his voice gonna sound like with the voice of the archangel with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of god with the trump of god and and the dead in christ the shall, dead in christ shall rise first rise when first second first third first fourth first hallelujah that's the real first resurrection go ahead brother that's right Hallelujah. What the nation of Islam call the first resurrection, they ain't no first resurrection. No. The dead in Christ shall rise. What first. the nation of Islam call while Elijah Muhammad was living, Hallelujah. and you that was alive when he was alive, you call that the first resurrection. Man, there ain't no first resurrection. Oh, oh, oh no. No way. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. A Muslim challenged me and said that the coming of Elijah Muhammad was prophesied. In the book of Micah, they say Elijah will come. Mm. All right, give me the book of Malachi. Malachi. And then I believe, give me the book of John or Luke in the New Testament. Yeah. Let me show you who was Elijah. That's right. Yeah. See, I love to dissect the Bible. Yes. Amen. All my information is right in the Bible. That's right. All right, son, look at what it says. In the book of Malachi, chapter 4. I'm going to prove to you that the book of Malachi was not talking about the coming of Elijah Muhammad. That's right. Because Elijah already came and dead. That's right. But somebody had to come look like him, sound like him, represent him so close until he had come to the likeness of the Old Testament prophet. That's right. All right, son, listen at this. Malachi, chapter 4, and right, verse 5. I have many of X Nation of Islam brothers here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whole lot of them. I have brothers here that used to be Sunni Muslims. I have sisters here that used to be Nation of Islam and, sus and Sunni Muslims used to be part of the Nation of Islam MGT staff. Amen. But when they heard holy, <laughs> when they heard be holy, be holy, be holy is not be Muslim. <laughs> no, it's not. Be holy is not be a Jew. No. Be holy is not go after Christianity. That's right. Be holy mean be like God. Be like God. Whatever God said. That's right. Follow it. That's right. To the letter. Go ahead. All right, let's get Elijah, son. Then we go back to Revelation. Malachi chapter 4 and right verse 5. Yeah, man. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Ha. Amen. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. I will send Elijah the prophet. The prophet. Before the coming of the great and dreadful Before day of the Lord. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart he shall turn the hearts of the fathers, of to, the the fathers children, to the children. And the heart of the children and to the their children's fathers, heart to the mother. To their fathers. To their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right, they say that was the full prophecy of the arrival of Elijah Muhammad. Yes. All right, let's see what the Bible says. Now in the book of St. Luke. Now this is what I take. Amen. St. Luke chapter I 1. take what the word of God says. That's right. And when I take what the word of God says, it debunks what everybody else said. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. 
It debunks what Farad Muhammad says. It debunks what Elijah Muhammad says. That's right. It debunks what Farrakhan says. That's right. Remember the prophet declared I that will Elijah, send Elijah I will prophet. send Elijah the prophet, the prophet before the coming of the before great and dreadful it is, day of the At no time did he say I will send Elijah Muhammad. No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Didn't say that. Elijah the prophet. But I will descend, I will send Elijah. I will send you Elijah the prophet. The prophet or Elijah the messenger. That's right. Uh -huh. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yes. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And, and the heart of the children to their fathers. And lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Let us see. Amen. Who fulfilled this? Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 1. And we're going to start reading at verse 13. Listen. <laughs> Amen. I love this. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. St. Luke chapter 1, and we'll start reading in verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. St. Luke chapter Follow 1. Follow me in the scriptures. And verse 13. Follow me in the book of truth. That's right. Says what? But the angel said unto him, fear not Zacharias. The angel said unto him. Fear not Zacharias. Fear not Zachariah. Thy prayer is heard. Thine prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Thy wife. Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Will bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John. Thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. You're going to be happy about him. For he shall be great in the sight of the he Lord. He shall be great in God's eyes. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And what? And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Yes. And many of the children of Israel. Hold it. Amen. Many of the children of Israel. Shall he turn to the Lord their God. Shall he turn to the Lord. And at St. Luke 1 now we're at verse 17. Yes. And he shall go before him. He shall go before him. In the spirit. In the spirit. And power. And power. Of Elias. Of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers, he gonna turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, to the children, and the disobedient, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. That was John. John, not Elijah Poole. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That was John the Baptist. John, that's right. And what else did he say? And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Yes. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Yes. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Yes. To make ready a people prepared to for make the Lord. ready a people prepared for the Lord for the Lord amen isn't that wonderful it's wonderful the Bible always debunk always the sayings of men man right. always try to hijack hijack prophecies that's right and make it him <laughs> that's right have you noticed that yes there's some fellow I believe it, in Puerto Rico and the Philippines that says he's the second coming of Christ that man, I don't know what he's smoking. He's smoking something. Whatever he's smoking, man, it is working big time. It's, it, it's got him high, Pastor. It's got him very high. Amen. Believe he the second coming of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. The danger is people believes it. Yeah. People are brainwashed by it. Oh, yes. And people are loyal to it. You better give me more revelation, son. I got to finish up real back, quick. Back in Revelation chapter 20, and we'll start at verse 4 again. Yes. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Yes. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yes. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. A thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again. Look at here. The rest of the dead they live again until, until the thousand years were finished. Until the millennium come to an end. This, this is, is, is the first resurrection. This is. This is. That's it. Church is with the Lord. Amen. This. This. Nothing is. else. That's right. Lord, we take God. This. This is the first resurrection. That's what we're waiting for. That's right. The no, first, no, no, no. Resurrection. first resurrection. Be quick. Blessed and holy is he. What kind? What kind? What kind? Blessed and, and Baptist is he. Holy is he. Blessed and Hebrew Israelite is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and African is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and white is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and Buddhist is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and skinhead is he. Blessed and holy is he. You see how the Bible don't call for nothing else? That's right. And you out there try to make this mine religion, That's mine right. religion, mine, <laughs> mine. Amen. 
I often think of the commercial when I was a kid of the Geno's restaurant. Everybody go to Geno's. Mm -hmm. Geno's is a place to go. That may be a restaurant, but it's not my church. No, no. Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's right. Amen. This is his church. That's right. I am just a member in his church. That's it. And I happen to work for him in his church. Amen. All right. Blessed and holy is he that I think. Blessed. Amen. You got to be a fool not to want to be blessed. That's right. Not to want to be holy. That's right. Blessed and holy is he. Being ho and holy is he, is he that hath part that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death, the second death has no power. In no order power. to make the first resurrection, you got to get it right now. That's right. So you might as well endure what I'm preaching. <laughs> That's right. Get mad at me and let the madness just temp go away eventually. But you might as well come on and do what it said. So to make the first listen, in order to get to the airport, you everybody got to go through that. Uh, customs and or whatever and whether examine you and yeah you know, what is that called TLC everybody got to go through there go through there if your belt make the thing beep you got to take it off hopefully your pants don't fall <laughs> that's right whenever I go through the airport I know what's going to happen because <laughs> you know I always wear suspenders on my pants mm -hmm. when I go through the moment I get through I hold my arms out and say suspenders they say, well, you, you've been through here quite a bit. Sometimes people, some of the TSA recognize me. They say, he all right. That's Pastor Dennis. He all right. <laughs> he ain't smuggling nothing but the Bible. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I remember one man was patting me down, examining me. See, Pastor Dennis, I know you ain't got nothing, but I, I'm just going through the motion. I want to ask you some Bible questions. <laughs> he said, I said, that's why you pat me down. He said, man, look, I got to take this time and use it to my advantage. <laughs> he started asking about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, did you really got to be baptized? <laughs> I said, yes! <laughs> you got to have it! Amen. I had my arms out. I had my hands out. Wonderful. Amen. I'm telling you, people, you got to get the thing like God itemized. That's right. The world is listening. Mm -hmm. And many of that used to fight it, now they're starting to come around. You will realize. I pray, God, that you better pray. You don't be like those when the rain came in the days of Noah and not even God will hear them. That's right. You want God to hear you, you better obey him right now. Right now. All right, real quick, son. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such a second death. Hath no power. Have no power. But they shall preach. But they shall, they shall be priests, be of, priests God. of God. And meaning they shall be royalty. Mm. Uh -huh. A peculiar but, people, a royal priesthood. Go ahead, man. Uh -huh. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ. The reason why they're going to be priests of God and of Christ, they're going to be priests of God mm -hmm. and of Christ mean they're going to be God's anointed. That's right. Uh -huh. And shall reign with him a thousand years. Reign with them. Him. Them. Him. Them. And, and shall reign with him. We're only going to be with one. That's it. You that got more than one, you're going to be so disappointed. So disappointed. You're going to be so disappointed, God knows. That's right. Reign with him. And shall reign with him a thousand years. A thousand years. And when a thousand years are a expired, thousand years is over, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Here come the devil again. And shall go out to deceive the shall nations. Shall deceive the nations. Which are in the four quarters. Have you noticed the devil pick right up where he left off? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, what is the devil manifesting? Mm. The greatest spirit of stubbornness. That's right. He was in bondage. That's right. And he wasn't deterred. He wasn't deterred. Had no change of heart. No, he didn't. No change of mind. That's right. No change of attitude. That's right. The moment his sentence was over, over. he went right back doing the same work, deceiving That's right. the nations. That's right. Whenever you hear the word of God and want to make a change, mm -hmm. please don't think you impress the devil for wanting to change. No. He's going to do everything in his power to keep you from changing. You hear me preaching the word of God against cigarettes and smoking and drinking and clubbing and earrings and finger rings and fake fingernails and dyeing your hair and wigs and all that. The folks hear me preach this from the Bible. From the Bible. So the devil make you blame me. Yeah. Put it on me. He a misogynist. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. He's nothing but a misogynist. He hate all the women. We don't know what, what woman done what to him. He's evil. One woman said, he's the 
symbol of pure evil. My Lord. No, we just preach to you what your pastor wouldn't. That's right. See, there are many things that preachers won't preach because he know it'll make you mad and you won't get that, he won't get that money. That's right. I'm going to preach to you and don't care if you don't give up half of a penny. Amen. Let's more whole one. It That's doesn't right. matter if you don't give a half one. That's right. I'm going to tell you what the word of God say, whether you like it or not. Amen. Preach it. You might as well get ready to make a change. That's right. You may as well get ready to get rid of all your fingernail polish, toenail polish, and arching your eyebrows and all that stuff, and earrings all in your ear. Amen. Amen. And gold teeth all in your mouth. It don't make your smile more better. No. Either your breath still stink or it doesn't. <laughs> now, Pastor Jenny, you shouldn't have said that. Let me pull scripture. You got Bible for that? Give me the 17th chapter of the book of Job. Job 17 and that's 1. Right, that's right. And let's see, did I make this up or does the Bible talk about Bible it? Says, you gold teeth, fancy smiling people. Job chapter 17 and verse 1. It don't make your breath no better. No, it won't. Hear the Bible. Job chapter 17 and verse 1. What is the testimony here? My breath. What? My breath. My breath is corrupt. Well, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. <laughs> that's the end of that. That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. So get on up in the mirror and brush your gold teeth and all that. Right. Yeah, all right. Your stinking corrupt mouth. Corrupt mouth. You better take that mouth and get rid of that pride Preach and that proud me. look and humble yourself under the mighty hands of God that's because right. hell going to melt that gold in your mouth. That's right. That's right. You may as well come out of your mini skirts. You might as well. I'm partying for Jesus. No, you ain't. Oh, no, you're not. You're partying for the devil out of hell. That's right. If you don't come out of it now, you won't come out of it when you die. Oh, yes. Make the change that God wants you to make. That's right. And you'll have some self dignity. That's right. You don't come out your door with halters. No. Showing your cleavage. Brow, blouse cut way down like my jacket and no shorter than my jacket. That's right. You make a change. Oh, yes. You cover your body up. Cover Men to stop wearing booty shorts. <laughs> That's right. And you're a man. That's Am right. I right? Amen. Amen. Man, listen. You ain't find nobody from the hood. No. When I was coming up. No way. Wearing booty shorts. No way. And you walking down the street. No, no. I mean, what are you, a male prostitute? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Are you making a booty call from the hood? From the hood. Amen. See, the way the hood is now is not like it was when I was coming up. No, none, of us, none of us b brothers was wearing bangs. No. If we wore an earring in the ear, you was in a gang. Right. But men back then wasn't wearing two earrings, two shaking earrings. their head like a Christmas tree. That's right. Like you some boggle head on the dashboard of a car? That's right. We wasn't wearing our pants down? No. The oh, common no. style, or back then we used the term the lay. The common lay was you wore your khakis, your leather belt with a reasonable size buckle, and you rolled your khakis up about three height. That's right. With your High top old man comforts of Stacy Adams. Yeah. You may have your cool cap or straw Panama hat. Yeah. You know, you may wear a glove with the fingers cut out. Mm -hmm. But if you got a t shirt that was rolled up on the end, right. you knew it was a man coming. You knew it was a man. Now you put that on. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? You just bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> you bouncing all around. That's right. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? See, in the hood, we had a thing called the line. Yeah. Most gangs had the line. Yeah. And that is, the heavy hitters will form a line on both sides like the owl. And if you want to be a part of that gang, you have to walk the line. And right. each one take their time. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, they be pounding your body. And if you're able to survive the line, 
You was in the game. Right. It wasn't no drive-by shooting to get initiated in no game. No, no. 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 You walk through the line now. How you doing? How are you? <laughs> you walk in the line rubbing somebody. Hello. <laughs> you understand? That's right. The manhood of the world. Yeah. The manhood of the world is under constant attack. That's right. By the devil to snatch your manhood from you and make you look like a woman, act like a woman. And even the women, the devil's trying to take away their feminine character. Want you to cut your hair like a man. Like a man. Have no switch, no twitch in your switch. That's right. Want to sit like a man, one leg east, one leg west. Yeah. It's a disgrace the way. Yes, it is. The human family have become, and religion is a contributing factor to the downfall of the men and women because they're not teaching you nothing. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19. Your chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19, verses 29 and 30. Says what? A man may be known by his look. A man is known by his look. <laughs> so ask yourself what do you look like what do you look like with a man bun that's right what do you look like barring your wife and your mother barrettes that's right with a man bun with a man bun. or rubber band around your ponytail yeah the bible says a man by, may be known by his look what do you look like sister yeah. with an ankle chain on all these nail designings. Yeah. What you look like? What you, what you look like? You come outside with heels about 12 inches high. Yeah. Ankle chains on each leg. Something cut down the hair so you can reveal your tattoo and then want to pretend like you coming in with some guy like, oh, well, what's that down there? And you're like, <laughs> you know you don't want him to, not to see it. That's right. You may as well stop faking. Stop faking. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I say? That's right. You know, don't pretend like you don't want the people to see it. Yeah. Who walks around with a deep cut blouse showing your breasts yes. with a tattoo on your left or right breast? And then when a man look, you gonna call him a pervert. Well, you look at what you are. Right. The Bible says a man may be known, may be known by his look. Then what about you? That's right. Don't get mad at me. The Bible says a man may be you known. that are listening and watching around the world. Right. How do you look? That's right. If you got on a, a uniform of a cop, I'm not expecting for you to be a doctor. No. I'm expecting for you to be a cop. That's right. If you walking and looking like a prostitute. That's right. What do you think people going to think you are? Oh, yes. Amen. If I come in here with the high, bright, pink, double-breasted suit. Huh. Yellow shoes. And a blood, blood, red handshaker. Right. And a purple hat. <laughs> We're introducing you, our leader, our teacher, our God, Pastor Jennings, and I come up. That's right. <laughs> It was happening, everybody. I'm your main oh, man, man, Pastor Jim. That's right. Man, you would, you would know that I would win nuts. That's right. So don't tell me your look your don't look. have nothing to do with it. Oh, yes. Sometimes your look determines whether you even get hired at a job or, get, or don't get hired. That's right. Listen, a man may be known by his look and what and one that has understanding and by one his that have understand about his countenance when thou meetest him when you greet him a man's attire a man's attire and excessive laughter excessive laughter and gait and gait show what he is this is plain in the bible it's plain so we don't want our women to be mistaken for prostitutes and street walkers that's and right. thoughts <laughs> that's right that's right. We don't want our brothers 
to be mistaken for hood rats, yeah. hoodlums, thugs, thugs, pimps. Amen. Amen. That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. Won't want you to be mistaken for a little itty bitty tiny Thames. That's right. You walking. I got to demonstrate got this. To demonstrate, right? <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> the Bible says a man may be known by his look. How do you look? How do you look? Men, how do you look? That's right. What is so manly about having a shirt unbuttoned and your bare naked chest shown? Sure, sure. And the book says, cover up the shame sure, of your nakedness. Yeah. You pushing 70 and 80 and you know your hair is gray, but you are determined to keep dying it black. That's right. And your eyebrows are silver. Amen. We as men, when we got cars, we don't put dice on our window. Right. We don't want nobody to think we we hoodlums. That's right. We don't put plastic scrotums. Go ahead, man. On the back of no pickup truck. That's right. That's right. The Bible says a man may be known by his look. All right, you're not gay. What you walking like it for? Why are you walking like it? I we call brother Mark Moretti. Read the announcements. Give me your papers, Mark. Now if I call. Moretti, read the announcements. He's ready to come up and he come and read the announcements. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Mark, Mark is leading, he's leading all the way back. Baptism is <laughs> ain't, ain't gonna read ain't gonna read the baptism right. All is moving around. Baptisms for today. Uh, uh, Twenty three and uh, Argentina right. five. Oh, it's amazing what God is doing. <laughs> man, what's about you? Am I right, man? Am I right, I said? Said, let us make let man, make man, in our image. That's right. After our likeness, any other performance. That's right. Is the spirit of the devil. Oh yes. That seeks to transform man from his manhood. That's right. And want our women to project an image of something that God never, never. intended for you to be. Never. And that's why the street want to keep you as a plaything. That's right. Nothing but a plaything. That's it. God made us for his glory. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Oh, yes. So many people comment and say, Pastor Jennings is an undercover Muslim. <laughs> I never was a Muslim. No. Never was I a student of Islam. Right. Well, why are your women all covered? Because God says so. Said so. real man want his woman naked in the street I wouldn't want my wife naked in the street no she gonna be naked be with me not in the street that's right are you listening that's right Amen. I don't understand you men who makes the quote well if she got it Flaunted man, you talk like a fool. That's a fool. And whenever another man look at your half naked behind woman, Go you ahead. ready to fight him. That's right. You ready to shoot him. Yeah. You ready to cut him. But if she obeyed the scriptures and covered herself up, you would have no reason to fight another man. That's right. You would have no reason to shoot him or to cut him. That's right. This is why the world is in the condition that it's in because Satan is loose. Oh, yes. But the time going to come that he's going to be bound. Be bound. And the church, which is God's people, not narrowed down here in this building. No. All the four corners of the earth where everybody believed the same thing, right. practice the same thing, 
do the same thing that's itemized in the scriptures, those are the ones that have repented of the sins and baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and they are continuing in the teachings of Jesus of what he gave his apostles, which have the title Apostles Doctrine. That's right. Which is the rules and regulations that's designed to regulate the lives of the church. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. <laughs>